how one of you doubled your subscribers in just one day following a tip in the comments of yesterday's video. Let's see how it was done. So yesterday I made a video where I read your comments and in that video I was talking about one particular person who shared his life story to which many of you shared your YouTube life story and that person was All Games Must Die. He wrote, thanks to George and the Freedom Family in one day my subscribers are on their way to doubling and they have doubled now. Why did that happen? Well, it happened because we spotlighted someone who I felt deserved a spotlight and many of you went to check him out. So what's the lesson learned? The lesson learned is we need to do more spotlights and you should do spotlights on your channel for people who you feel deserve it because now look at what All Games Must Die has done. Because of all this attention to a deserving small channel to help him double in one day, he said, I really thank you for all this effort and I will start to become more active on the forums as well. He's going to help the rest of you grow. He's going to give you tips. He's going to give you advice. He's going to check out your channels and subscribe to them. You do this for good people and they return it 10 times to everyone else. So it's not a one-way street. This isn't just for the benefit of All Games Must Die. This is for the benefit of all of you as well who are active in the comments and on the forums. So please, do more of this. And I also wanted to share that um, he almost gave up. Look, I almost talked myself out of it. This is relating to the original comment that started this whole process. He almost didn't write it. And why didn't he almost write it? Because he thought it was too personal and what did he do? He just chose to go for it. When you have a decision to make, am I going to do something or not do something? If you feel it's too personal or if you feel people may not like it, just do it. The reason I recommend to just do it is because even if it doesn't turn out well, what have you lost? You got a few troll comments. Big deal. But look at what the benefit can be. Doubling your subscribers in one day. Getting all this positive reinforcement from everyone else in the Freedom Family. You are giving up so much potential benefit at the risk of only losing a little bit of negative. So just do it. That's the theme of today's video. If you're ever thinking of doing something and you're wondering, should I, should I not? Just do it. So, um, we had a long conversation here with All Games Must Die and you're welcome to read it if you're interested. And the lesson as well for me is I need to pick more of you deserving people who leave great comments and feature them in episodes of The George Show so they, you too, can also be motivated to do great things when your subscriber counts double. Now someone who isn't a very optimistic person may say, oh come on George, he had only like 35 subscribers, so now he has 60 or 70. Big whoop de deal. It is a big deal and here's why. We did an analysis of who has the most benefit, who can grow the most in terms of revenue uh, compared to effort? So let's say a channel has a million subscribers. Big channel, huge channel. We have a few of those in Freedom. How much effort would it take to double that? Quite a bit. Now let's take a channel with 35 subscribers. How much effort does it take to double that? Quite a bit less. Now, when someone is earning a dollar, they get really excited when that doubles to two dollars and the effort required is much less than when you're earning a hundred thousand dollars a month to double that to two hundred thousand. So my point is the people who can get the most excited by doubling their channel and revenue and everything are the people who don't have to spend as much effort to do it. So that's why we want to focus on the small channels because there's a lot of you. Now Another criticism is, oh, so freedom is just full of all small channels. That's not true either, and here's why. 
just go to youtube.com slash freedom slash about and you'll see that the average channel size in freedom is 1,000 subscribers. That's the average. Obviously, we have a few channels that have 35 subscribers and we have a few channels that have a million subscribers. And the average is 1,000. How do I get that? Well, look, there's 135,000 channels and there's 148 million subscribers. So let's just make this 135 million just for the sake of argument. 135 million divided by 135,000 is 1,000. So it's actually more than a thousand subscribers per channel on average because this is more than 135 million. But you get the idea of how I come to that conclusion. So freedom is not just full of small channels. It's full of big channels, medium-sized channels, and small channels. And my whole point of this inspirational video is to help you small guys realize that you have the easiest path to growth because you're <laughs> you know, it's easier for you to double. So let's help each other grow together and let's work together as a family to watch each other's videos, read each other's comments, leave insightful comments down there in the, beneath these episodes of The George Show and I will pick more comments that I believe are really special and feature them just like I did with All Games Must Die. And I bet we will have the same result. So, who's with me? And who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. Today it's the shirt with a little small freedom. And I hope you'll leave your comments below. What should you comment about? Well, share your YouTube story if you haven't already. Leave your best tip for people to help them grow faster. Give people reviews. Do anything you feel will help channels grow. Now, here's my tip. Start your videos with the best 10 seconds. Do not start with your intro. Do not start with, hi guys, how are you doing this fine morning? No, put the best 10 seconds into the beginning of your video, even if you have to cut it from the middle to put it into your beginning so that you hook your audience, get them excited, make them want to watch the rest of the video. If you don't do that, then they'll either run away right away from the video or they'll skip ahead to some random point, which probably won't be your most exciting 10 seconds, and they'll get bored and then they'll run away. <laughs> so help your viewers figure out why they should watch each and every single one of your videos by putting the most exciting moments, the most emotional part at the very beginning and then play the rest of the video. Does that help? Does that make sense? Do you think that's a good idea? Tell me in the comments below. We'll see you on the next episode of and we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.